Oops. Okay, go ahead. The Reign of Terror, from 1793 to 1794, was a dark and hopeless time. During the Reign of Terror, the enemies of the Revolution were imprisoned and eventually killed. Along with the king, the more moderate members of the government had lost out to the Sansculettes and the Jacobins, and were seeking the enemies of the Revolution killed. During this period, the revolutionary government had extraordinary powers. It passed a number of harsh laws to intimidate or eliminate any who disagreed with the Jacobins. The law of suspects, for example, provided for the arrest of anyone of noble family or a held position in Parliament before the revolution. If you could not produce a signed certificate of citizenship, it would result in immediate arrest and execution. During the reign of terror, there was also a complete reorganization of the armed forces and new legislation was passed to regulate business, food speculators were guillotines and all granaries and bakeries placed under state control. Few people dared stand up to this government. Danton, for example, was beheaded in 19, 1794. Before his death, he predicted that Robespierre would soon follow. Before his execution, he told the executioner to hold his head high so the crowd could look at it. It was, as he said, worth seeing. Other people who challenged Robespierre, even the leaders of the Santa Coulette, were guillotined. It is estimated that over 37,000 people were guillotined during the reign of terror. After Danton's execution in 1794, Robespierre ruled France with the powers of a dictator. Robespierre destroyed all opposition to the government and made sweeping changes in France. The country was modernized in many ways. The metric system was introduced as well as a revolutionary calendar. The army was made more efficient, and new schools and universities were set up to educate the population. Lord Pierre also confiscated all the property of the immigrants. As France grew stronger, people began to fear a dictatorship by Robespierre. To everyone's surprise, Robespierre tried to condemn more people. He himself was also condemned. After a failed attempt to shoot himself, he was quickly arrested and guillotined with his closest friends. The reign of terror was at an end. Robespierre, once a sincere opponent of the death penalty, had brought about the death of thousands. Radical Jacobins were immediately replaced by the Themidorians, named after the 11th month of the revolutionary calendar. This group was agnostic to bring peace to the revolution. The rule of Robespierre was replaced with the Directory, which was controlled by the middle class. The new government gave most of the power to the people of property, which signaled a return to special privileges for people with money. Only this group could vote and elect members to government. Uh, the old days of equity and the title of citizen were over, and many of the advances made by the poor were swept away. But soon the directory itself would be swept away by Napoleon Bonaparte, a man who would, who would establish a new type of monarch by calling himself Emperor of France.